Just a quick time out to say thank you to today's sponsor Squarespace. These guys offer one of the leading all-in-one platforms for creating professional looking websites, building online stores, communicating with your audience, running effective email marketing campaigns and a whole load more. There's seriously so many features in their control panel, you should just head over to squarespace.com for a free trial and check them all out. There are benefits for both new and existing website owners such as Squarespace's email campaign feature, which is a great way to grow and engage with your audience, create powerful and effective email content that matches your website website with existing products, blog posts and logos so you can keep your customers updated with all your latest news and offers. Set up multiple contributors giving selective access and permissions to your website manager area. Perfect if you're growing fast and need to start outsourcing various elements of your business to others. You can also add commenting features and create a community on your Squarespace website with their integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies and even likes. This is a great way to further interact with your audience and add another level of realness and community to your website. So if you're considering setting anything up online currently just head over to squarespace.com for your free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com forward slash live and live fast and you can save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain now let's get into the video what is going on YouTube welcome back to the channel today you join me in a dark car park I'm actually in a Starbucks car park it's around 10 o'clock at night I've just finished the gym and I thought I'd do a little video on my own for discussing all the modifications and exactly how much they all have cost me. Sorry about the hair. Yeah, it's not looking too good, but it will be coming off soon. That's not looking too bad, is it? So yeah, let's jump out of the car and show you the settings. You know what? One thing I have to say right now is ceramic coat in your car is a fucking nightmare. I used to be the guy that would clean my car twice a week, but let me tell you, this car right here now has not been washed in probably around six weeks. Chatting to all these different car washing enthusiasts that have been on the channel, it just makes me power to send this to a car wash. I did take this to a car wash once. Like, it wasn't even a car wash. Somebody hand washed it for me and they scratched up this bonnet. Like, I don't even know if you can see, but there's just a few light lines. And uh, let's turn the main thing off. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of people that message asking me to clean the car, but I have no routine. I don't know when I'm going to be available. I'm just a last second guy. I'm like, yo, you ready now? And that's it. Look, there's a rat over there. What the fuck is that thing doing? See it? Jeez. Rats and all sorts. But uh, yeah, back to the car. Oh, cold, cold, cold. So the first one we're going to talk about is the colour. So if you are new to the channel, this car was originally black. You may be looking at it, it looks gold, but it's actually called Bronzo Zenus. Uh, the Bronzo Zenus is from the Aventador SVJ. It is very, very expensive. I had this done at GVE London. The product is called OptiShield. And um, there's a few selling points to it. As I say, first one being you get the paint finish, whereas with wraps, you get that plastic kind of shiny finish. The other selling point is um, the paint itself, it's pretty thick, so it has five base layers, which means it's a lot thicker than a normal vinyl wrap. So it does protect the paint, the original paintwork to a certain degree. Uh, I have got a few stone chips you may see there, but you know, you guys have probably seen some of my videos, the way that I've driven this, it's done track days, and I'm telling you, it's held up really well. So to have this done to a similar size car, you're looking at around 7,000 pounds. Yes, you heard right, it's very, very expensive, 7,000 pounds. Some of the rival companies do charge in excess of 10,000 pounds, so it's actually not that bad. But you know, when you're comparing it to a vinyl wrap, you know, what do you pay for vinyl wrap? Some people pay a grand, two grand, maybe three grand. So the second mod we're gonna talk about is all of the carbon, so we went with the M performance carbon side blades cs style splitter we did actually have the corner splitters at one point but i took them off we went with the cs style uh, lip as well they actually call it a gurney flap and then we got the m performance carbon fiber diffuser so this isn't uh, oem from bmw it would cost a lot of money if it was these were supplied by carbon parts uk but yeah for all of that carbon you're looking at around two thousand pounds just a little bit less uh, but obviously it will depend on who you go to. If you are after the same carbon I've had installed to this car, the company's called Carbon Parts UK. Uh, you can check back, I've done loads of videos on all these mods. Okay, it looks like we're gonna move because somebody's turned up. This is what happens when you film. Very frustrated when you're filming. Man, it's like, oh. So let's talk about the third modification, which is the wheels. Obviously I'm not doing it in order that I modified the car, uh, but yeah, we went with a set of NVF 02s. Uh, they are lightweight forged aluminium. The company's called NV Forge. You would have probably seen that video, pretty recent, 10 and a half inches on the rear nine and a half inches on the front they weigh 9.9 .9 kg per corner it's really anything like me like i used to buy wheels based on looks and you know i wasn't into buying the big brakes and doing suspension it would only be like springs but let me tell you these wheels 
it's just a transformation the way this car drives, how much lighter it feels in its feet. I am going to do like a little mini review on the car, so just yeah, wait for that video where I'll go over all the details. But for these wheels, you're looking at around four and a half thousand pounds. Not the cheapest, not the most expensive, but I mean, look at how amazing they look. Like a lot of us, we do buy things based on looks, but these are actually performance wheels. They just look so good on this car. So the fourth model we're going to talk about is the Army Trick system. So obviously, it's not installed at the moment because I recently did a track day, and uh, track days do have noise limits. The Army Tricks did come with the carbon tips as well, as you can see, the stock black tips. Looks a bit boring, doesn't it? So the Army Trick system by itself comes in at around five and a half thousand pounds. Uh, to have it decatted with the simulated cats, uh, the simulated cats are so that there's no error codes on your dash. Uh, with the simulated left and right cats, you're looking at an extra thousand pounds. So for the full Army Tricks exhaust system installed to an M4, you're looking at six and a half thousand pounds. You can also have the downpipe ceramic coated, which is another thousand pounds. So you can spend up to 7,500 pounds. So yeah, as you can see, not the cheapest mod and it's why it probably will be going back on the car. Something I was meant to add to the start of this video is, obviously I'm a YouTuber, yeah? I'm not here to bullshit anybody. I'm not here to mislead anybody either. So a lot of you watch my videos and watch other social people and you just think that obviously we've got loads of money because we're getting all of these parts and we've got loads of cars but i do want to take this opportunity to explain to you that obviously we get a lot of parts sponsored yeah not everything's 100 percent free but sometimes you have to contribute a little bit sometimes you have to pay for half uh, but most of the time if you're watching somebody with over 200,000 subscribers it's very likely that what they've got in the car is for free so I'm not going to tell you what is free, what's not free. And to be fair, I don't even look at this stuff as free, you know. I have to sit in for days and days at a time, editing videos, filming videos. And, uh, you know, I value my time so much now, you know, especially turning 30 years old. I'm like an old man now. But for any kids that are watching, don't buy into everything you see, you know. It's all just an illusion. Everything's highly edited. And, uh, you know, if you're not an editor or you've never filmed videos, you'll never kind of understand how easy it is to manipulate videos. So, yeah, let's move on to the next free part. <laughs> So the next free mod, sorry, no, not free. I had to pay for this mod. No, guys, genuinely, I paid for this mod. So we're talking about the KW V3 coilovers. We had them installed by Tom Wrigley. And um, the reason I went with this suspension is because for starters, obviously look at the arch gap. That is just looking amazing, right? The M4s specifically, they just, um, they just got a bit of a gap, man, you know? And uh, the wheels are in just a tiny bit, but that is night and day, man. It's how this car should have sat from factory. Obviously the M3s, sit a lot better they've got a wider arch oh we've got another guy pulling up Fuck you know is this popo undercovers just had an undercover x5 drive through that is not good some of you will know why that's not good so back to the v3s the reason why i wanted this specific suspension is because i've been out in so many different cars on my channel and every time they've been wearing the v3s I've made a big point of how amazing the car drives. You know, obviously I've been out in some cars that have got a more track focused suspension and yes, they handle even better. But you know, this is my daily driver and I just wanted something that's not gonna compromise road comfort, you know? This car handles way better. It fills out the arch gap, but the main thing is it's still comfortable on the road. Yes, it sits lower. So yes, you know, you're gonna feel those micro bumps a lot more. It is definitely a bit more stiff, but definitely more than acceptable for your general UK roads. Price, I haven't even mentioned the price. So the price of the suspension is around £2,000. It's the non-EDC, so this car does come with adaptive suspension. This suspension in particular deletes it. You can buy the adaptive version, uh, but yeah, this is the suspension I bought. Um, so yeah, you're looking at around two grand for the adaptive option. I think it's only a few hundred pound more. So the fifth modification is the AP Racing Radical Big Brake Kit. Uh, six piston calipers supplied by Tom Wrigley. All I can say to you is that it is night and day. I know it sounds very generic, it's night and day, but no, honestly, like the braking performance is ridiculous. Like uh, when you're traveling at high speed, they're not like overly sensitive, but they just they just feel very Porsche like, you know, you have to warm them up initially when you set off, they're really cold. But onto the price, you're looking at around two and a half thousand pounds for the big brake kit. Obviously you can upgrade the rear as well, but definitely this is a modification that I would highly recommend. It's such a nice feeling knowing that you've got them big stoppers up front. Honestly, you can brake so late into corners. Sixth modification we're gonna talk about is the Eventuri induction kit. Uh, sorry about the quality, this camera's not good in low light, but you can see the carbon fiber housing. You also get two of them because obviously the uh, M4 is twin turbo, which obviously will make this kit a little bit more expensive. But aesthetically, looking at the bay, it just looks so good. 
It should have literally come like this from factory, matches the carbon strut. When it was installed to my M4, what I noticed when I set off was how much more eager it was to rev. The throttle felt a lot more sensitive. If I was to take this induction kit off now, you would actually see that the filters are inverted. You know how you look at an airplane engine, it looks just like that. It looks so damn good. But there's been a lot of research and development behind these air filters. This is not your typical induction kit. Guys, I've just noticed how low my battery is, which means I'm gonna have to wrap this video up as soon as possible. So uh, for the Eventuri kit, you're looking at 2,000 pounds. So onto the most exciting mods, definitely I would say are the hybrid turbo. So I went to Belgium uh, last year, February it was. So yeah, it's been roughly a year. That's crazy. I've owned this car for about 14 months. I purchased it last December. And as I said plenty of times, this car has been faultless with these mods, which is just insane. So we had the Pure Stage 2 Plus hybrid turbos installed. We had water methanol injection installed. We had the charge pipes replaced to aluminium. We also had the VRSF downpipes installed. So I think I did mention about the armatrix situation where the uh, downpipes were a little bit restricted. So we changed them to the VRSF downpipes. VSRF, VRSF. We also had the Gintani crank hub fix. Uh, so these S55 engines on the in the M2 comps the m3s and m4s they have a design fault uh, so even these cards in stock form uh, can have engine failures so if you are planning to do any type of modifications make sure you get the crank hub fixed all of those parts together will cost you around 13,000 euros so you could just say just over 10 grand and it is not that bad considering the performance you get it's also running a hcp custom tune done over boot mod uh, we've got a meth dependent map and we've got a pump map so uh, the pump map does 600 to the wheels and the meth map does 658 to the wheels one thing i need to mention as well is these tires right I can't even believe this, it don't even make sense, but the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S on this car, not on these diesel wheels now, but the competition wheels, I've done about 11,000 miles. You've seen all of the videos of me spinning up the car and doing loads of reaction videos. I'm telling you, I've got about 11,000 miles out of those tires. I don't know how, don't ask me, it's like, it's weird. One thing I nearly forgot to mention is these Recaro CS bucket seats. They're not full on buckets they're like in between i had them reskinned by a company called seat skin so this is like a sleeve that goes straight over the top of the original seat i went with a gray alcantara in the center as you can see i had the llf stitched into the headrest gold stitching on the side and also the rear bench is exactly the same and uh, the head rests up there also this alcantara steering wheel uh, i purchased this from a company called bn europe had it re-trimmed by royal steering wheels uh, originally this was a gray alcantara I had it done in black uh, with the gold stitching sorry about the focus i'm on a low aperture and uh, also this was red before also these mats i purchased these from a company called refined they advertise them as like rolls royce mats they're really thick they don't curl up on the corners they're really really high quality and they are pretty expensive the seats you're looking at two thousand pounds with the skins you're looking at another thousand pounds steering wheel was around 500 pounds mats are about 200 pounds so yeah just look at it as about four grand for the interior here guys i'm going to end the video there i'm sure i would have missed one or two modifications i'm sure i would have flipped up a price or a total price of all the modifications but i can tell you that that car is definitely sitting there with at least forty thousand pounds worth of mods the camera is literally just about to turn off sorry for rushing the end but as always if you did enjoy it please hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll see you soon thank you for watching bye